how the Karnataka Vak Board's opposition to the use of Bengaluru's Eidgah Medan for Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations reached the Supreme Court today, where the two judges uh, differed uh, uh, from each other over the decision. So, a three-judge bench is hearing it to possibly end the deadlock by evening. Since the festival is tomorrow and day after, an urgent hearing was requested and granted. The state government, which can give permission for setting up festival pandals, had argued that it could be heard the day after tomorrow. Shrija is joining us with more details. Now, Shrija, uh, has the Ganesh Chaturthi festival been held on this uh, exact premises which is now in contention earlier or is this the first time that the government had granted permission and where has this controversy really emerged from? Well, just like how, uh, you know, Kapil Sibyl uh, presented before the court where he did go on to talk about for 200 years it is a status quo. That means, you know, there has not a single time uh, where we have seen Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations that was held here in Eidgah Maidan in Bengaluru. Now, this entire issue stemmed earlier this year. This is uh, probably between March and April when the ownership rights began. That is, who does this particular land belong to? Does it belong to Wax Board or does it belong to the government or the BBMP, the civic body in Bengaluru? Uh, that's where it all started and it also started because where these right-wing organizations started demanding saying that it is a land, a piece of land that belongs to especially the government and that even, you know, Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations can be held. So during all these kind of arguments and disputes, we understand eventually, uh, in fact, it was decided where they said, this, this particular Eidgah Maidan belongs to the Revenue Department of Karnataka. Uh, after which we understand the government went ahead and also held uh, independent state celebrations. This is, a, a, you know, taking consent even from the uh, Wax board. But uh, we understand over the last one month or so, there have been talks about how uh, several of the right-wing organizations have been demanding and also pressurizing the government, especially that they have, should be allowing them to carry out these Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations. Now, it is also, you know, in, there's another development that's taken place here in Karnataka itself, in Hubli, another district of Karnataka, at Eidgah Maidan, uh, the municipal corporation has allowed uh, the right-wing organization to uh, organize Chaturthi, Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations tomorrow. But here in Bengaluru, of course, this particular case, that is, after the district commissioner, after collecting, hearing all their pleas, uh, they have moved the Karnataka High Court, and to which we understand, Karnataka High Court had passed an order saying that Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations can be held at Eidgah Maidan in Bengaluru. Now, the Muslim body, the Vox board, has moved the Supreme Court, has also is also fighting, in fact, now saying right. that if at all Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations are going to be held at Eidgah Maidan in Bengaluru, okay. it can lead to communal tensions. Hmm. Now, as we speak, we see there have been several security forces in, on ground right now, okay. especially at Eidgah Maidan, and also keeping uh, in mind, especially for tomorrow's uh, programs. But we have to wait and watch what mm. really comes out of the Supreme Court. Yes, absolutely. The Supreme Court is hearing that matter. Three judge bench is now hearing that matter, and uh, it is. Uh, it has also accepted that it will hear this matter till this evening because uh, other festivities are to be held tomorrow and day after, as Shrija was pointing out. Many thanks. Shrija for joining us with those details.